hey guys welcome to another video uh, I hope you all are doing good and in a very fit fine situation uh, so uh, today I'm, I'm going to talk about this uh, error handling uh, using the VLOOKUP error handling using VLOOKUP right uh, forgive me about this spelling mistake uh, so uh, what I exactly the situation is that uh, the situation is this that you have this database and uh, possibly you have uh, let's say maybe 500 1000 or maybe more than that you know rows you have a lot of names and you are interested in uh, pulling out the report uh, basis this primary table which is this table and uh, uh, you are interested in uh, getting the passport status getting the age of these people who belongs to your department uh, but uh, my subscriber uh, when he uh, you know sent out this email he specifically said that he knows the VLOOKUP but the only thing which he is struggling is that in case if he is not able to find any name in the primary table it you know comes as an error as a NA right we know, all know that so what he wants to do is he wants to say that I just want to hide those errors or maybe something meaningful you know has to be there instead of the errors so we have a solution here uh, please uh, first let let us build uh, this VLOOKUP formula so let's uh, check the scores for the Donna according to the according to this primary table and uh, since the passport is uh, on the second column so I'll write here the column index number second and then zero right so I assume that you all know the VLOOKUP formula I'm not going to talk about the VLOOKUP but yes uh, in case if you do not know let me just tell you that uh, uh, VLOOKUP is actually whenever you find uh, need to find some value from one table to the another table so generally your table is a secondary table but the when you have a main database where you have stored all the information and you're looking for your information there you use the VLOOKUP it stands for the vertical lookup because it always goes in a vertical direction right so uh, here we have I have used this uh, Donna as a lookup party as you can see here this is my main table this is the table I have freeze this table again this is a part of a cell referencing let me know in case if you don't know the cell referencing part you or you can even join my classes I train people on the basic Excel intermediate and the advanced Excel now this is going to be the column index number in this case it is going to be the passport so I have written here the second column and I actually need the exact match so I have written here the zero right uh, so all right so uh, let us press enter and uh, let us uh, drag this formula over here and uh, since age is on the third column so I'll change this to third right so far he's able to make this formula right or you might be if you know the VLOOKUP then you might also do in this way now the problem comes is that what he wants uh, this um, person who you know uh, sent me email he says that uh, he is getting the errors so errors are obviously but obvious because Amy is not in this main table right we don't have any Amy and we don't have any AJ that's why it is going the uh, going to give you the error NA so NA means that it is not able to find the value right so what you can do is uh, you can uh, handle such uh, issues quite efficiently if you're working on a Excel 2007 or maybe um, Excel 2010 or 13 uh, we have a formula called if error right that's the formula it's quite easy to use you need not to scare um, I'll just show you how it works suppose I'm writing some values here right 2 and 0 the two numbers are here now uh, if I divide this 2 with 0 you know that it is going to give me error because you really can't divide any number with the zero right it will show you the error now when you want to work on the error handling that you really hate you know uh, seeing these errors in the spreadsheet you want to send it to your client or maybe to your boss and you want that the error should not come there it should look elegant right maybe it should look like your uh, that uh, there is no value there is no error but these errors should not come so what you can do is right now uh, use this if error okay now you see uh, this says this clearly uh, watch out this syntax the parameter it, it has the two parameters value and value of error so value says that if the formula is going to evaluate you if the formula is going to evaluate in a proper way and it is going to give you some results then the value should come right otherwise in case if the value is not going to come like in our case it is going to give us the error because we are dividing you know uh, this 2 by 0 then what should happen we'll write this syntax in the value if error so I'll say that uh, cannot be divided 
by 0 right you can and write it in the quotes because this is a string so enter right so now whenever you have this error it will not give you a div error right which always comes when you do some um, uh, mathematic calculations and they are not correct so that's how you can actually change the error now if I write something here too let's say and if I press enter see what will happen you'll get your value why because remember if error has two parameter value or in case if the value is not coming if error so in this case 2 can be divisible by 2 which makes sense to all of us right so that's why it is not going on the second parameter which is value if error it is stopping there on the value and it is giving you the value right similarly you can even do one thing in case if you don't want to write something just put the space so what wh what will happen is now next time when the error will come you see this will actually be omitted the formula is there but you can't really see anything so that's another way of doing the thing so what we are going to do is in this we look up I'll simply say if error okay now the value in case if we look up is going to return me some value let it be perfect I really don't have to do anything and in case if it is not then value of error then I'll say that let it be space you can write anything in case if you want to write something like not a valid number or the lookup value not found you can write it right but I'm just writing this so now I'll paste this formula here and you can check out that you know we have the space here right so the formula is here but you are not able to see any error so that looks that makes your sheet quite uh, you know neat and clean right so hope uh, you like this video and in case if you're looking for more uh, such things uh, you know you can learn in the Excel let me know uh, let me also know in case if you are facing some problem in your office work or wherever I mean you are whether you are doing some personal or maybe any you know you're working somewhere just let me know about your requirement I'll upload the video and I'll try to help you out right so that's my video uh, that's my email ID guys let me know in case if you look looking for some Excel training along with the VBA thank you so much for joining I'll come with another video and please uh, there is a request uh, whenever you uh, see this video please watch it on the YouTube right thank you